Hey, Taurus, my bullpen. Love the Tauruses. I am a Taurus. I would say 65% of my clientele are Tauruses. I just groove with Taurus and Taurus grooves with me. I love y'all. This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is your June mid-month reading. So these are your deep thoughts for the rest of June right? Now, Taurus, a lot of readings are about reconciling and reuniting, right? Because that was the whole energy with Gemini being um, communication. And I think the Cancer full moon is coming up with being in your fields and Mercury and all of this stuff that I don't know a lot about. But nevertheless, there has been a general th thread about reconciling and reuniting, right? Well, this reading is... Um, um, I believe the outcome of reconciling and reuniting, it's not necessarily the outcome, but it's where things stand right now. Um, this is a general reading for the star sign, the rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, Chiron sign, Neptune, Pluto, whatever you have in Taurus. This reading very well may resonate with you. If it doesn't, it's just not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. And whatever you do, do not make a life decision based on a, per, on a personal, on a general reading, okay? My general readings or anybody else's general readings do not ever make a decision based on general readings. If there's something in here that you would like more clarity, more confirmation about, because a general reading oftentimes does not turn out to be like your personal reading. So, that being said, if you'd like a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to my channel, and I reiterate, a subscriber to my channel, you can click on the links link below and get 50% off of a personal reading. Um, 50 bucks, we'll hook it up just like this, just for you, just for your personal situation. Okay, so here we go. This is the overall thread of the energy of Taurus based on the planetary positions and the things that are going on in the universe, right? Behind the scenes things. So we start this reading with the Ten of Swords, right? Um, Ten of Swords to the Nine of Swords. This Ten of Swords to the Nine of Swords is about something coming to an end, something that really upsets you, right? Really, really upsets you. And I really believe that this is you, Taurus, putting something to an end and not somebody ending something with you. Okay, so you're putting something to an end. Nine of Swords says that it causes you a lot of grief, a lot of despair, um, some anxiety. Maybe this is something that just keeps you up at night, right? But whatever this is, this is uh, pretty, pretty serious for you. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that you are putting an end to this of your own free will because of reflection and assessment. The number seven is about reflection and assessment. And let me just reiterate, the nine of swords, as painful as that may be, the nine of swords is about fruition. Number nine, the nine of swords isn't about fruition, but the number nine is all about fruition, attainment, and bringing things to a conclusion. And 10 with the 10 of swords is about completion, okay? So you have put something to an end. Something has come to a completion. Something has, has, you're bringing something to a conclusion because you're looking at it with reflection and assessment. Sun card says that you're seeing things clearly, right? You're seeing things clearly. What are you seeing clearly? Clarified by justice, clearly clarified by justice. What you're seeing clearly is the truth of a situation. You are perhaps seeing a side of somebody that you haven't seen before. You're perhaps discovering things about somebody that you didn't know. Whatever the case is, you're seeing things clearly and some very, very important truth is being spoken to you. Now, keep in mind that even if this is a soulmate situation, even if it's a financial situation, right, that doesn't when things when when things are revealed to you when you take the rose colored glasses off and you see things for what they really are sometimes that truth can be very painful it can be very painful and very much put you into the 9 of swords energy right 
Well, it does because this tower moment is right here for you. This clear, crystal clear vision that you are seeing because of reflection and assessment of the situation is creating a tower moment for you. And I do believe that maybe this is a, not a culmination, a combination of everything that the tower stands for. I think this is a revelation. I think this is an awakening, obviously, because we have you seeing things clearly with the sun card. But I also think that this is upheaval, sudden change, and perhaps even chaos. If not in your physical life, definitely in your mental. Two of Wands comes in and says that this tower moment is changing the way that you are planning for your future. It's changing the direction of the path that you're on in regards to this situation. You see things clearly, and I do believe you are, you are doing an about face, and you are headed in the other direction. The high priestess comes in. This high priestess tells me that there has been some secrets revealed to you about the three of pentacles. This is a third party situation. Yes, the three of pentacles is about teamwork and collaboration. But if you'll look closely at this card, and I don't know if you can see it here, let me, let me pull it up. If you look closely at this card, there's three people here, right? Building something. When really all there needs to be is two, right? She can talk to this builder guy all by herself. She doesn't really need this guy in the middle right? So this card tells me that there is some kind of energy that is creating a third party situation. Something is in the middle between two people when it comes to teamwork and collaboration. Some kind of secret or some kind of truth. Truth, okay? It's not a secret anymore because you know it, because the truth was spoken to you by spirit with justice. So you're seeing things clearly. Some kind of truth has been revealed about a third party situation. The Prince of Wands comes in and normally this would be about excitement and, you know, passionate messages and all that kind of stuff. But in this positioning, in this case, this Prince of Swords is about delays and frustration. So this third party energy that is happening in this situation is causing frustration and and because of the frustration natural delays right delays being the ten of swords and 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 you seeing things clearly now the princess of pentacles is in the center of your reading right here this princess of pentacles is about manifesting manifesting an opportunity right and i also want to point out that this third party energy with the three of pentacles perhaps the truth that has been revealed to you is that whatever or whomever you're involved with right here has manifested something with another person, okay? With another person. If this is career for you, then, then there's another candidate that is after the same position that you are. Or there's somebody else that's coming in that perhaps is going to get the promotion. If this is relationship or family, then somebody is manifesting something with somebody else. And this is the truth that has been revealed to you by spirit with the justice card, taking the rose colored glasses off with the sun card and creating the and causing you to reflect and assess the situation, creating the tower moment, which is a revelation and an awakening about who or what this situation really is. The hangman comes in. Hangman is about pausing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective about things, and then hopping down off of that, off of that limb right there and actually taking action, right? So I think that this emergence of a third party energy into the situation, number one, squashed your hopes of manifesting something new with whatever this person, place, or thing is, right? Um, in addition to this Princess of Pentacles talking about somebody manifesting something with a third energy, this squashes your 
Ace of Pentacles, right? This Ace of Pentacles is about manifesting a new opportunity, but this Eight of Pentacles is also about a lost opportunity. And that's what's going on here, a lost opportunity. A lost opportunity that Taurus is deciding is a lost opportunity. All of this is about the Six of Cups. It's about reuniting and reconciling someone, something in your life. What you're dealing with is the emperor. This emperor is, 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 well, number one, it's the card of Aries. And it's interesting that Taurus is the empress. And we have the emperor as the energy that you're dealing with. Because I just did the Aries reading and they are dealing with the empress. So if you're dealing with an Aries, you may want to go check that out. Because it, uh, it turns out much different, differently than this reading does. So what you're dealing with is the emperor could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, could be any freaking buddy, okay? Don't hold the signs to the card. But who you're dealing with is somebody that is in control, right? They like to be in control of the situation. And I can't help but to intuitively feel that there's some kind of head game going on here. There's some kind of a mind game, some kind of a mind fuck going on right here. And I don't quite know what that is. Maybe I'll pull some cards at the end of this to see what exactly this emperor is doing. In, I mean, what are they doing, right? Nevertheless, so you're dealing with an emperor. The emperor is also about the control, the authority, the structure, and the establishment of your life. Again, if this is a business reading for you, this emperor is an authority figure, right? Whoever this emperor or whatever this emperor is, this is who you're dealing with. What you thought was the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, values alignment, is now turning into a breakup, a misalignment of values, an imbalance in the relationship, Five of Cups says that there is loss, regret, disappear, despair, disappointment, right? Because your three cups have been spilled there. And I want to point out again, three, right? Three cups have been spilled. And this guy, he's just going to, he's going to be like, screw it. And he's just going to gather his cups together and he's going to move on from the situation. He's going to go get his cups filled up someplace else. And that's what you're doing here, Taurus. There's a misalignment of values because this emperor has brought in a third energy. Okay? There's a misalignment of values. If this is career, you're moving on. You're like, screw this. I don't even want this promotion. I don't want to work here. I don't, I don't just don't want it, right? If this is a relationship, you're moving on. You've come to crystal clear vision about, about the character, the structure of this person that you're dealing with. And the death card comes in and says, not only are you putting an end to this entire situation, but this entire situation is the catalyst for a personal transformation for you. It's a personal transformation. These last two cards here say that, that what we were talking about is, is somebody that you thought could be your king of cups, somebody that you thought could be your king of love, but now it's created an emotional imbalance to the queen of pentacles, which of course is Taurus in this reading, right? So this queen of pentacles thought that this king of cups was, was their love right? Whether it's a work or relationship, right? They, they thought it was their love, but, but now their feelings are imbalanced and, and slightly um, the opposite of love, honestly. I'm surprised we don't see some, some pissed off cards here, but I think, I, I don't know if you're pissed off though, Taurus. I think you're just at a point where you're like, yep, now I see. Now I see. Now I see. Crystal clear. Now I see. And this Queen of Pentacles right here, she's going to go off and she's going to start a new life cycle. She's going to close out this cycle. She's going to put an end with the death card to 
the emperor who is screwing around with some kind of third party energy, whether to make you jealous, whether to um, explore their options, whether to um, see if somebody else is a better fit for a position than you are. Oh no, the wind is blowing. It's screwing up my everything. Regardless of, of, of why this emperor is, is engaging in another energy, this, this Taurus right here, this queen of pentacles, she's like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm walking away. I'm just out. I'm just done. She's going to close out this cycle to her life or he, if you're a dude, but it's a queen. So I'm going to use the feminine. She's going to close out this cycle to her life and she's going to write a whole new chapter. I do want to um, say that the world card is also about a personal transformation. So I think what's going to happen here, Taurus, is that if things continue the way that they are right now, now this reading is energy for right this minute, right? This is the energy right now. Anything can happen. Free will is abundant in any kind of tarot reading. If you see something that you don't like happening, you can divert it at any time because the way that you act is the way that people react to you. So if you see this, if you see this happening and, and you see this, this emperor's true colors, right? But you don't care because you love him and you think he's or she, the emperor is your soulmate. And you're going to, you're going to come in here and you're going to fight off this third energy and you're going to fight for that job or you're going to fight for that man or you're going to fight for that woman. And you don't care if they're an asshole because they're mind fucking you. Um, then so be it. Then jump right in here at this particular point in this reading and, and fight off that third party energy. Let me know how that works for you. Okay. Because you're dealing with somebody who is, um, what's the word? You're dealing with somebody who likes a lot of control. And I think they're, they, they like to initiate a response from you by playing games. And, and I don't know about y'all, but I don't play games. I don't have time in my life for games. Either you're all in or you're all out. I don't have time to be a serial dater. I don't have time to spend my time on somebody who's a serial dater. I don't have time to spend my time on somebody who has options, right? Either I am your option or I am not an option at all. I do not have time to waste on somebody that isn't in the game, right? But no judgment here. Y'all do whatever it is that you need to do for you and yours. And I support you and I hope that it works out for the best for you. However, there is a group of you Tauruses. Should things stay just like they are right now, you are carrying out. You're like, peace out, bitch. I'm gone. And that's what you're doing here. That's what you're doing. You're peacing out and you are just uh, closing out this cycle of your life and you're going to carry on. You know, I don't see a lot of sadness. I don't see a lot of... um I mean, there is, there is, you know, some pain and some sadness, but it's your choice, right? This isn't being done to you unless you consider what this emperor is doing as being done to you. But you're seeing this emperor with crystal clear vision and truth, right? So you are initiating this whole thing, Taurus. And I don't think it's going to be as much of a heartbreak as, um, as it could have been because you see the truth, right? When you don't see the truth about somebody and you look at them through the rose colored glasses and then all of this happens, that's when you get your heart broke. But you have taken those rose colored glasses off and you see 100% clearly what the hell this emperor is up to. And this particular queen of pentacles is opting to, um, to just bow out. And I do believe bow out kind of gracefully and just say, you know what? It's done. It's over. Bye. So there you go, Taurus. That is your reading for uh, mid mid June. And uh, y'all drop me a comment. Let me know how it is. If you like the video, like it. If you think it would share it, if you think it would share anybody, if you think it would help anybody, go ahead and share it. If you would like some clarification, some confirmation of your own intuition, if you'd like to dig deeper into the other person's head to see where they're at and what they're thinking, I can transfer energy and use you as a conduit to transfer their energy into the cards and we can see what they're thinking, what's going on with this third energy and uh, all kinds of 
of cool things we can do with the tarot cards. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you want 50% off, subscribe to my channel and click the link in the box below. And yeah, there you go, Taurus. I will see you next week for the weekly psychic forecast from the radio show. And I will see you at the first of the month for your first of the month readings. Okay. Namaste, my friends.